Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, formerly, if is F1 backwards gamer of course, back with another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this one we are getting it all in Football Game, a game developed by Cloak and Dagger Games and published by everybody's favourite, Rata Like It Games of course. Now the story revolves around Tommy, a former American football player looking for his beloved Susie but is nowhere to be found. Now this is your typical 80s style point and click adventure and the achievements are pretty much piss easy as one would expect with Rattalika but nonetheless it is pretty enjoyable with a deep and pretty interesting slash dark towards the end story and only costs you around 5 bucks. It'll also only take you around 30 to 40 minutes to complete. So with that being said then let us begin. And actually, just before we begin, you will notice a few things in the game. Um, a lack of noise throughout the game. Um, there's no music, there's barely any sounds going on. Uh, not totally sure why that is, but, you know, that is just how it is, sadly enough. So, you know, a uh, good few positives, but quite a few negatives as well then. So first things first then, just click on the alarm clock right there. All the dialogue, by the way, I'll be skipping through using the A button or the X button on the PlayStation. Uh, unless, I mean, like I said, the story's quite interesting, so it's worth reading, but just saves a bit of time, you know, even though we're in a lockdown and we've all got plenty of time, but still. Anyway, as soon as he comes up and dozes off, you'll get a little um, bit of dialogue there showing you sort of what to do. The use button, again, is just the uh, A button for the majority of the game. So go ahead, click on the bottles right here. And we'll um, get a new item for empty bottles. We'll get an achievement in just a moment. But go ahead, click on the photograph first. Ah, young love, isn't it just, doesn't it just make you sick? I'm <laughs> just joking. Anyway, to get your inventory up, just put the cursor up to the top of the screen. There's no button to get it up. Just put the cursor to the top of the screen. Uh, select the empty bottles and put them in the trash can here. And that is for an achievement. Now, uh, achievement. now for some reason, the achievements stopped popping up. So every time there's an achievement that unlocks, I will actually manually go into it and we'll see when it unlocks together anyway. Right now, for instance. So you should have got the second achievement right there for mama not suspecting a thing because you are a drunk basically so go into the bathroom um click on the shaving razor and you'll get another achievement right here for shaving your face i do wonder who which sort of people come up with these achievements and achievement names because <laughs> some of them are brilliant So did Tommy get lucky that night, or did he just get drunk and throw her into the river? <laughs> Who knows? So anyway, this cutscene is over now. Now we can exit the bathroom and go towards the right where we will find our mother washing dishes. And basically what we'll need to do now is uh, make her a coffee. Easy, easy stuff. I mean, most of it is easy. And as for some of the dialogue options, I'll obviously end up telling you which ones to pick just to get through the game a little bit quicker. Uh, but the majority of them doesn't really matter in all fairness. So one thing you might end up doing a lot is accidentally clicking on something that you don't need to click on or clicking on a place that you don't need to, <laughs> that you don't need to go. So uh, at this point though, get the cupboard, get uh, go into the cupboard, get the mug from Yama right there. There's nothing else that we need, so we can exit the cupboard now by just... Um, Pointing the cursor away, sort of to the right hand side of the cupboard. Right there. And next, go into the right hand side most cupboard and get the tea bags, which of course has the big massive word T100 bags on it. If you ever get lost, I'm sorry, I don't know, I can't help you on that. <laughs> um, exit this cupboard now. Go ahead and just put the kettle on. You'll be waiting there for a, just a, 
about 20 to 30 seconds while it uh, boils up. So just hover your, hover your cursor over the mug for now. And as soon as the steam hits us like it does now, then you can put the um, tea, uh, the mug with the kettle and then put your tea bag in it. Lovely, jubbly. And that's how easy it is to get your mother to love you. Make her a cup of brew and the little things like that go a long way. Trust me, my mum used to beat me when I was getting... I'm joking. No, never mind. Sorry. Moving on. Moving on. Um, once she's good, she'll take a sit down now. She's usually pissed off with you, but, you know, you can just... She takes a sit down and chill. We are now going to go to the right-hand side. We're going to go outside to our car. So, go ahead. Grab the jacket, which will have your car keys in there. And we'll go outside. Try the keys on the car. And, obviously, it doesn't work because that's what always happens in video games. Nothing works straight away like it's supposed to. I'm sure you're aware by now. Also, you should have four achievements by now. Uh, one is called the past one, which is basically for, uh, you just looked at a past cutscene, and the other was for making your mother a brewski brusque there. So, there you go. I forgot to show them as soon as they unlocked, but you should have four out of um, however many it is by now. I forgot, sorry. So, we need to go back into the house now and get the presents. Uh, so go back in through the door and we'll be heading all the way to the left, back to, to where we started the game. And you know, sometimes it can seem, this game can seem a little bit tedious sometimes, you're going sort of back and forth, back and forth. But like I said, if, if you're interested in the story and keep looking at the story, it's interesting and it is very, very good. So have a look under your bed then, um, move all the clothes to reveal that the present is missing. So now we'll be heading up the stairs for the first time and you will try to go into your mother's bedroom because you know nobody else could have stolen it. I mean if somebody had thiefed you, robbed you, why would somebody just take a present and then that's it. So now we'll be actually having to sneak into our mother's bedroom. Hopefully she hasn't got no uh, <laughs> toys available, toys on the bed, because that would be goddamn awkward. So once we escape the house then, um, get the keys and open the garage door on the left. Very important, make sure to do this first before you go anywhere else. Get the hammer which is directly in front of you, and then there should be a, a nail tool. Oh, nail tool. Rope even. I don't know where I just got nail tool from. <laughs> but as long as you've got the hammer and rope, they should both be there. There's nothing else to collect, so now we can move on. So going through the gate right here, because we, again, will be doing a few more things here, though, before we go up, like another past cutscene, which, uh, by the way, will unlock another achievement. So once that's done, then go into your inventory, grab the rope, and then tie it on the treehouse branch right here. Or just the branch. And then there's a concrete block uh, just to the left-hand side. You obviously can't pull the rope because you can't get up. So the concrete block just to the left-hand side of the doghouse right there. Just a little bit in plain view. So just keep pushing that over for a second. Um, by the way, just as... The, the easiest way to sort of move to the right and left is obviously to put your cursor down into the right or left bottom hand corner because that way you don't accidentally click on anything or go through any accidental doors etc etc so apologies that my <laughs> Welsh Hunter logo is in the way but you know I think it's fairly obvious anyway so once the, once the concrete block is there click on the rope again with the concrete block to tie them together
And that will unlock us another achievement called Among the Leaves, which is getting into your treehouse for the first time, as we haven't been up here in a while. So the only way to get through this now is with the hammer. This is the reason we needed it, so smash the... There's a shattered window, or shattered window. Smash that in, and now we'll be able to get through it. And then climb the pipe. So the stars are looking lovely, but we don't care about stars. So, uh, click the go down button. There's only one way to go, really, and we're into our mother's bedroom. Thankfully, she's put all her sex toys away, so <laughs> we get a bit of awkwardness out the way. Click on the photograph by the mirror, unfold it, and that will unlock us another achievement. So, yep, she ruined a good photograph, but... Such is life. Worst things are happening in life. Um, look at the top drawer next to the bed. That is where the present is. And as soon as we get that, we can now leave the house, go into the car, and we can drive away. Very important this bit, before you drive away, look into the glove box first and there will be two tapes and some money for us to collect. Very important to get the tapes for an achievement, well, and the money for another one later on. And again, before we leave, uh, you can exit out of the glove box now and just put one of the tapes into the car. It doesn't matter which one, it can be red, can be blue, but put it into the cassette deck and that will be one out of two tapes that we need to listen to. I think you get about three or four opportunities to get this achievement, but obviously better just get them out the way. So then now we are outside of the school for the first time, and basically there's a bit coming up where what we're going to be doing is just talking to all of the students around. There's only about uh, four or five people, so talk to this guy first, smash through the dialogue, and then behind you click on enter ground. Um, so once we do get into the ground, We again, we'll be talking to about five or six people, um, exhausting all the dialogue options. It's only really house things and have you seen Susie, so you can just blast through all of this. Just talk, make, just make sure to talk to everyone. That, I'm sorry to say, is the worst ass that I've ever seen drawn, ever. Uh, looks more like one of those weird V-shaped 80-year-old butts. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, just keep heading onto the right, onto the right, and when you get to the second scene right here, an achievement will unlock. So, again, if it hasn't popped for you on screen, just double-check to make sure you're all caught up with me. Well, they could have at least put some plump in that butt, do you know what I mean? This was just as flat as a witch's tit, that one. Yeah. 
So head on back where it says sort of exit and enter through the door which is under the stairs here which uh, we'll just call the maintenance room for now and get another cutscene. So once that ends and the achievement unlocks you, go to the exit, go back towards the right hand side and we'll talk to Jesse. Now the dialogue options to choose for Jesse are just OK, OK and bye for now, just to get through this a little bit quicker again. And of course, Jesse the Jerk wants something in return to help you out, which is obvious. So go back uh, through the maintenance door, which is, of course, the stairs under the door. Just talk to every single person here, and obviously they'll want something again. Because everyone's a jerk, and that's just how things work. What a poet I truly am. So exit out of here for now, we will be back momentarily. Once again, go towards the right, only this time the door that was beside Jesse will now be open, so we can go ahead and go through that. There's a quarter, a quarter on the floor. Sorry, bad attempt at American accent there. So pick up the quarter. Um, don't click on the extraction fan, because that doesn't do anything. You click on the unit beside it. Uh, click, go ahead, click on the red button on the right and steal the batteries. So once again, we are done with this bit for now, so we can exit the room and leave those two to be dirty little bastards. Go to the left and you'll see Mr. Mahoney guarding the door, so go ahead, talk to him. Um, accidentally just clicked on the door, but go ahead, uh, talk to Mr. Mahoney and ask him why he is, why are you guarding the door? And then for the next dialogue option, just click buy. So for some reason I made this bit a little more difficult than I need to. What you have to do is get the quarter from your inventory and use it on the, um, vending machine right there to get a can of soda. But I accidentally clicked on this gap tooth looking little biznitch and then I forgot how to do things so <laughs> get your quarter from your inventory get uh, put it in the vending machine get a can of soda it should have been that simple but you know I like to make things difficult jazz it up a little you know okay so we are done with the school for now so head all the way to the left now and Enter your car again, and we'll be going to Susie's place to see if she's there. And, of course, remember to, if you pick the red tape earlier on, pick the blue tape, and obviously vice versa. So whichever tape you picked, if you've been following the guide, of course, you would have picked the red one. Uh, so just pick the blue one for the achievement to unlock for us. To be honest, I was kind of hoping for driving on, now my hands went on a wheel, boom, 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 boom. But that didn't happen, so there's the achievement, should have been locked for you on screen anyway. God, I'll stop with the American accents and the singing, I promise. Knock on the door, you'll find out that nobody's home. So this was basically a waste of petrol. Just keep knocking, just keep knocking on the door though. So 
So as soon as he says no one's home, that is our cue to leave. So get back into your car now. And this is another opportunity if you accidentally um, played the one cassette tape once or twice, uh, another cutscene will play here, you've got another opportunity to click on the opposite tape recorder now. So now we're back at the school then, and our mission is to get some fags, some cigarettes. So talk to Jeff, the guy in the black shirt here. Um, dialogue options to choose are you smoke and then just buy. So we find out he doesn't actually smoke, so we now need to go to the boy on the very right hand side of this scene. And give him the money, give him the 20, and you'll get a pack of fags for the kids underneath the maintenance door. So this guy in the leather jacket here, give him the money. And you will get some cigarettes. So now then we will head back um, into the maintenance room to give the kids under this um, uh, some of the cigs. And of course we don't have a lighter, which is, you know, I don't smoke personally, but I'm no expert, but it's a pretty vital, pretty vital instrument into getting a smoke to light up. So give these the fags, now they're going to say, where's our lighter, you dumb shit. But this is where the can of soda actually comes in handy for us now. So if you didn't get it earlier on, you can still get it, because you should still have your quarter um, to the vending machine just coming up. Uh, but what we need to do is actually go back to the guy Jeff we were speaking to at the beginning of the scene. We'll trade him a can of soda for his lighter. So then you need to go back to the maintenance room and give them the lighter. Why do these jerks want everything for nothing, eh? Uh, tell you what, you got to always play, do something. So, again, go back, enter the grounds, go all the way to the right, give the kids the lighter. But we'll be doing a few things to get rid of Mr. Mahoney off the door now. Well, you know, this isn't all for nothing, you know. So give them the lighter, they'll smoke up happy days, and then we'll be having a little fun with the unit just behind you right there again. Once that's done, go ahead, click on the unit, get rid of this bit by clicking the red button on the right hand side, put the batteries actually inside the unit again, and then you see the two directional switches above it, you've just got to click on those two once, so they're both at the right hand side, and then we should be good to go, but apparently I kept forgetting about it, so the power switch and the directional switch, as soon as they are on, the red button doesn't actually do anything, so you don't have to worry about that, now we can exit this Go to Mr. Mahoney and tell him that kids are smoking, and he, off he will pop. Although then again, I've never been too sure why he was guarding the changing rooms. Ah, still a bit weird, but anyway, we are in here now. We also get another achievement, and we've only got three left to get now. So go into the coach's office first, and go into the filing, uh, the desk, sorry, not the filing cabinet, the desk, go to the top of the drawer, get rid of the documents, and you'll find a small key for us to grab.
Now go into your inventory, grab the key, and then now we can click on the filing cabinets and go to T Masters. Basically just says that he's a bullion, he's a bit of a knobhead, more or less. <laughs> you know, don't be a knob, you won't be treated like one. That's a good life lesson. Now we can exit and go into the boys' locker room. Don't go into the girls, you're a perv. Go ahead, look into the mirror for a cutscene. So now go all the way to the right and go to locker number four. Now the key code to unlock this is 6676. So that's 6676 to unlock this um, uh, locker. I couldn't even think of the word then. And then pick up the framed picture that's inside it. And now we'll be going back to where Jesse was from earlier on, giving him the frame picture. So head to the left to exit this, and then all the way to the right. So now he lets through. Uh, now he lets you through, and basically this next bit is all just automatic. So you don't move. You haven't got anything to do for a minute. So just sit back, relax, and watch what happens. And of course, if you are looking at the dialogue, lots of stuff will start. A lot more interesting stuff's going to start happening now. Now that we're back home, we need to be going all the way back to the left to where our bedroom was and our mother who looks weirdly like Sylvester Stallone when she talks. I don't know if you noticed that, but <laughs> to me that was hilarious. But we'll be uh, getting the present from Susie from these uh, from this sort of double, 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 double doors here. Hey, this is going too far now, Tommy, it has to stop. Man, now I am the worst at impressions. Anyway, <laughs> when your mother bitch slaps it out of your hand, click on the gift and another cut so you will appear. Basically coming to the end of the game now. So we're in the woods, looking for where Susie is. Go to the exit and we will now be in a sort of jewelry place where we bought the gift for Susie. So go ahead, talk to the salesman. Another weird looking character out of the game. And when you get back into the woods then just keep on, keep on going right, continue right. There's nothing else to see, there's nothing else to click on here. You just continue to the right. Back in the store, go ahead and click on the necklace which is directly by you and then ask the salesman how much the S necklace is. That's the only bit of dialogue you need to click for this point. And then we'll be back in the words and continue going to the right. And then you see exactly what Tommy has done. Dun dun dun.
So this is the point then, you just continue going to the right, there's nothing else to see, you won't go back to the salesman, so we've done everything there is in the game, so, um, I mean, I don't know your point of view of the game, I thought this, again, story-wise, I thought it was absolutely brilliant, um, it takes a very sinister, dark tone, and I really do enjoy stuff like that. But in terms of, you know, the gameplay, I thought I thought it was a little bit too short, in my opinion. I think they could have elaborated on it a little better. And, again, it's just a lack of noise throughout the game. No suspenseful music any or anything anywhere. So, you know, a lot of positives for the game, but a few negatives. But overall, I enjoy it. But listen, uh, have a look at the dialogue now, and you'll sort of get a kind of clear picture of exactly what happened between the two. Basically, he was a bit of a booze hound that potentially, it doesn't exactly say, but it potentially killed his missus. But I think that's for you to decide and judge. And anyway, so that should be that then, guys and gals. All achievements should now be unlocked. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hopefully, this guide has helped you out for another easy 1000. And if it has, of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Big love.